Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a video on how to organize your notebook. What you need is a sheet of paper where you write your first and last name, your class period, algebra 2, Mrs. Trejo. You're going to have these little dividers and one is going to be notes, assignments, tests, and other. You need your four dividers and of course you need your binder. Go ahead and label your dividers by these categories. Okay, now that you have everything labeled, um, sorry, I put this in the wrong order. Okay, sorry, now they're in the right order. You should have notes in the front, assignments, tests, and then other. I put important stuff on this because a bunch of important stuff is going to go in the front. You want to go ahead and um, put in your front sleeve that sheet of paper that gives you your first and last name your class period and all that good stuff okay probably the easiest thing that you can do is get your assignment log and make sure to get all of these handouts and I'm gonna go in order and tell you I guess the easiest thing is to go in order of this and tell you which um, divider it goes into. Okay, I decided um, instead to just go in order. Um, I'm just going to put a little letter next to each of the assignments so that you know which section they go into. So the course newsletter would be in the front along with your hall pass. Your quiz goes in the test section. The parent and student questionnaire and the parent interview you don't have it, I have it, and I'm going to keep it. Okay, so you're not going to put that in your notebook. Your calendar, it goes in the front. Your assignment log goes in the front. 1.1 function notes, that goes under notes. And then what should you not do if you want to help get rid of graffiti? That's an assignment, so it goes in that section. So go ahead and take a moment to copy down the letters onto your assignment log. Um, hopefully you can see them a little bit less light helped okay and then of course I'm going to go through it again so you should be able to to be okay so this is notes um, this is an notes this is an assignment Okay, so in this first section, you want to put your assignment log first. After your assignment log, I want you to put in your calendar. It looks like this, August and September. So hopefully you are using your calendar to help you stay organized. Um, after your assignment log goes your calendar. After your calendar, I would like you to place um, the information about the course, with the classroom rules and the classroom procedures, what it is that I expect you to do when you're at the door, before the bell rings, during class, before the bell rings, and after class. Um, then you want to put your first week's nine, blah, your hall pass, sorry. Make sure that you put your name, your class period, your calculator number, book number, and student number should all be the same. After that comes your <clears throat> remind. So this is a good, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is so crusty. <laughs> this is a good thing for you to look at in order to see how to subscribe to YouTube, how to get the Desmos calculator, extra credit if your parents sign up for remind. This is their code. And then what you need to do to sign up for a remind. Okay, that completes the section for the important stuff. Now we're going to move on to the notes. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is this part. So this is what you had to turn in. This is what I'm talking about that I'm going to keep. You had to fill out the section for about you. Your parents had to fill out the section about themselves. And then you were going to ask your parents these questions and submit it in a separate sheet of paper. All right, so to finish off, um, you have your course newsletter, your calendar, sorry, your assignment log, your calendar, 
your course newsletter, your hall pass, and your remind and YouTube and Desmos reminder. Okay, that's all the important stuff that you need to have in the front. Under notes, the first one is 1.1 functions. This is what you did um, with Miss Castillo. You guys answered front and back. Then you had to watch a video on how to make the foldable Dixie and Roy. This is a good foldable to use when it comes to domain and range. After the Dixie and Roy foldable, you had to watch another video about domain and range. So you are practicing how to find domain and range off of these functions. I in the video I showed you an example A. If you have not done this, you should because this will help you um, know what exactly you need to know about domain and range. After that, we did some stations. It was you walked around the room, you were with the partner, and you had to complete each of these different examples onto your notes. After you did the examples, then you were expected to do the the worksheet number seven. So after going through these stations, you were supposed to copy down the notes onto each of these problems on your own sheet of paper. Then we took notes on function notation. You were supposed to watch the video labeled function notation and I gave you a bunch of examples. And notice that Function notation is what we've been doing on our warm-ups the last couple of days. Okay, then our next set of notes was composition of functions. We did this together. And then most recently, we took notes on Uh, you took notes on this graphing quadratics and I'm missing the the notes about the ones that you guys turned in yesterday from the video I don't have a copy of that with me okay now we're on to the next section which is all the assignments under the assignments you should have what should you not do if you want to help get rid of graffiti how does a rodeo star get around why are handcuffs like souvenirs some of you guys might have this one some of you might not and what did the Spanish farmer say to his chicken I think the copies were made incorrectly while the sub was here so it got a little bit confusing but anyway um, the next thing that you needed to do was worksheet number seven this is from the stations part and it's all about domain and range and function notation. So this is a good assignment to do and I will, I ended up just passing it back to you guys because it was a little overwhelming and a lot of you guys didn't do it correctly. So hopefully little by little we can complete this. Um, then you had this for homework. This homework, page 390, 21 through 22, 36 through 49, I'm going to have it put into the other section, so ignore that for now. And then the last thing is what we're working on recently, which is 4.1 practice. That's what we're going to be working on today. Okay, the next section is your test. You should have your quiz in there. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Then you should have a test review, what we did to review for the test right before we took it. You guys will not have a copy of the test, unfortunately, but you should have a copy of your test, like what you wrote down, and then um, the test corrections if you did any. And finally, the other section, you should put what happened to Ray Floob after he fell off the Empire State Building. This was for my pre-AP class only. So my regular classes should not have it. 
and then you had an extra credit assignment which I also don't have a copy of and then of course the homework for page 390 in this other section other stuff will be put in there okay I hope you guys have a nice day thank you for watching this video thank you for organizing your notebook and don't forget to bring your notebook every single day your composition book that's why I asked you guys to get a binder with pockets so you can place your composition book inside of those pockets those of you who got the bigger um, notebook you can just put it in your notebook here okay guys I'll see you later